present to you a case of a two-year-old, three-month female child who is, who is a resident of rural Nargonda district who presented to the pediatric OPD which she complains of bilateral breast enlargement since the past 12 months, axillary and pubic hair development since the past 12 months, and bleeding for vagina since the past six months. History of presenting illness, the patient was apparently asymptomatic 12 months ago when the parents noticed bilateral breast enlargement, which was cyclical in nature, not associated with any pain or discharge. The development of pubic and axillary hair since the past 12 months, and complaints of bleeding the vagina since the past 6 months. She had 3 to 4 episodes, each episode lasted for 4 days every month. She used to use 2 to 3 diapers per day and it was not associated with any clots. There is no history of fever, seizures, headache, vomiting. excessive weight gain, loss of appetite, fatigue, cold intolerance, abdominal pain, abdominal mass, or any drug usage. Next. Birth history. She was an at-term birth, appropriate for gestational age. Lower cesarean, um, sorry, lower segment cesarean section, the indication being non-progression of labor. Healthy birth weight of 2.5 kgs and cried immediately after birth. She had a history of NICU admission in the view of neonatal hyperbilirubinemia for which she received Phototherapy for two days. Developmental history all milestones were attained as per age and no developmental delay was present. Immunization history she was up to date with all her, immun uh, she was up to date with all her vaccinations and a BCG scar was present. She was last immunized at 18 months of age. She is first in birth order and it was a non contagious marriage. No history of similar complaints in the family. On general examination, the child was active. There were no there was no interest, paler cyanosis or fetal edema and all peripheral pulses were felt normally. Vitals and admission were also considered normal. According to anthropometry, according to WHO charts, we can see that the child is actually 2 years and 3 months of age. However, her height is 96 centimeters, placing her above 90th centile and her height age corresponding to 3 years and 4 months. And for her weight for age, she is 14 kgs, again placing her above 90th centile, and her weight age being 3 years. Next. On head to toe examination, there was no hirsutism or hyperpigmentation, no dysmorphic features, neurocutaneous markers, no cafe or air spots, or neck swellings, and no bony defects. According to Tanner's SMR staging, we can see that the breast development is stage 4 by the double scoop appearance or double mound appearance, as we can see. Pubic hair is stage 3 and it was partially shaped. Ancillary hair was stage 2, partially shaped. Um, on systemic examination, on examination, all the systems um, were examined and uh, deemed to be normal. Next. So the differentials that we could conclude from this were hypothyroidism, tumors of ovarian, adrenal and pituitary origin, Central nervous system tumors, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, and McEwen Albright syndrome. Coming to the investigations, uh, we have done hormonal studies, ultrasound pelvis, MRI brain, and X ray of left wrist to indicate bone age. So now on hormonal studies, we can see that the estradiol is 15 gram per ml, which is elevated, testosterone less than 7 mg per deciliter, which is normal. And luteal hormone is 4.8 milli international unit per ml, which is elevated. Ultrasound pelvis, the uterus is 3 into 1.8 centimeters and ovarian volume 2 to 2.5 ml, which corresponds to pubertal age. On MRI brain, it revealed a 12 into 10 millimeter ovoid isotense mass present in the region of tuberculum senarium and features suggestive of hypothalamic hematoma bursi. On bone age, the X-ray wrist corresponds to 4 years according to Grillich and Pile chart. Next. So, summarizing the entire case, a 2-year-old 3-month child was brought with bilateral breast enlargement, pubic and axillary hair growth since the past 12 months, and bleeding for vagina since the past 6 months. As bone age is more than height age, more than chronological age, luteal hormone is more than 0.3 milli international units per ml, estradiol is more than 25 picogram per ml, Suspicion of central precocious puberty. An MRI brain was done, which was suggestive of hypothalamic hematoma. In the view of the above findings and investigations, the child was diagnosed with central precocious puberty, secondary to hypothalamic hematoma. And that being the final diagnosis. 
Now, coming to the management, the child was started on gonadotropin releasing hormone analog, Luprolide. So, 3.75 mg in, um, intramuscularly was given every month as a depot preparation, and she is currently on follow up every month to monitor the response. After six months of treatment, there is clinical cessation of menstruation and reduce in the breast and reduction in the breast size, and there is no acceleration of the height.